Hola YouTube, how are you doing? Uh, today we're gonna talk about creating a bootable USB stick for your Mac and you're gonna do it in Windows and we're gonna do it with a program that will let you do it uh, completely free even though you don't have the full version and uh, in our previous video I showed you that we could do this with TransMac but TransMac would work for two weeks and after that you uh, would have to like um, buy the program and if after a while you get uh, the same problem again then you might be like hey my TransMac where was it oh shit it's expired so damn how to do it now you know because you don't have money to buy a program that will do it for you and you don't have a credit card so you know you need the alternative program to do this well we did this many times before with the same program and I don't know if you remember creating uh, these uh, these Linux uh, CDs well today we're gonna do it again we will go ahead and start up our program called power ISO power ISO be careful please be careful when you go download it because they want to set you up with a lot of spyware instead get version 4.9 that one doesn't contain any spyware just go look for an old version of power ISO that is not bigger than one megabyte okay because this is a very small program it's just uh, a couple of hundred KBs so when you see it's four or five megabyte don't download it because that is the spyware they want to set you up with okay so uh, what did I do did I open as administrator no I opened it the wrong way so we must exit and we will go back to power ISO make sure that you right mouse click and then say run as administrator and then you say yes okie doke we continue unregistered I already have my USB stick uh, in the computer so um, we will go to tools and then we say create bootable USB okay my friends so that's what we did and up here it will say source image files from what should it create you know so you must click that and then you will go to your place where you have this uh, this ISO file sent by my friend I add cost himself you know so this is like so we're gonna wait with this first we're gonna unpack this baby we're gonna leave it in the folder and just put it to our desktop you will uh, find also you will see that if you want to copy this file um, to a USB stick then it will say the file system is too big for uh, the USB stick even though if it's a stick from 8 gigabyte I think to do a thing like that you will have to format uh, the USB stick into a NTFS I think and then it should be possible so when this process is finished I'll get back to you and then we will continue our journey of creating a bootable USB stick with power ISO in Windows for a Mac by the way um, if you want to do this for uh, for for instance uh, building a hacking tosh well then this won't work because even though we are um, we are straightly from the iAdcos s3 we're making uh, this this uh, bootable USB even though we do that um, the bootloader in some way will not come up so what you can do is um, is uh, also burn this file to CD and that you boot with the CD only booting will be done with the CD and then the rest will happen from the USB because you know the CD will look for if there's somewhere else information available and then it will find the USB with all the files on there and you know Mac is smart so it will not install from the CD then it will then automatically uh, use the um, the USB stick with the info on it also being an image file in fact uh, also an image file that we you know transferred to uh, the USB stick so you must see it that, that way it's not so um, complicated so um, in fact you're uh, doing the install with two 
um, this is only for hacking tosh yeah your mac will work just fine if you stick in the usb stick and if it does not work uh, for your mac then you really need trans mac then you must go uh, on another computer where you never installed trans mac yet and then uh, do it with trans mac so i'm also going to put in the link of trans mac but also the link of um, uh, power ISO at least a version without the spyware so I'm gonna give you old way a old uh, older version but it doesn't uh, um, is of any uh, less than the new version only the new version has all the spyware included and the old version does not have it so until then all right the file is uh, rendered it's done uh, I mean all right the file is copied and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, what we just already did create a bootable USB drive and then we look for um, our file it's on the desktop here it is uh, I add cos s3 so but this could also be um, a DMG file but then again uh, let me see something so it would also open DMG ISO, ISO, image yes, Mac images, you see that? DMG is also supported this is a real powerful program and then we just hit start and then yes it will um, format the USB drive by the way if you're done doing this and you want to create uh, a normal USB stick of the thing again you know uh, it will say that the drive is corrupted you know it will show a wrong size if you uh, insert it and then you must fix it with TransMac okay remember that oh no 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 with, not with TransMac then you must uh, repair it with uh, what is the name of this program again let me see what it was boot eyes yes boot eyes so when the stick get corrupted you know the usb stick if when you're done installing mac you know with the stick and you want to use the stick as a normal stick again so that other devices also can like uh, store uh, info on it or data on it then you must fix the stick again with a program called um, boot ice yes from my friend from france so that's it, um, that's how to create a bootable uh, USB for Mac in Windows uh, on the Power ISO. I hope that uh, this video helped you and uh, this is also the way how you can create many other uh, bootable USB uh, sticks from Linux, from Windows. This is also the way how to do it with the Windows uh, ISO file. So you know this is the way how you can uh, create a bootable USB stick uh, for repairing your Mac so this is the alternative I hope you like this video if you did like it subscribe to my channel and do all the things that are good for you and me and be nice to your family bye bye